So I have to say something about your attire. You're, uh -huh. you're a very outspoken New York Knicks fan, generally. Uh, how are you feeling about the state of the New York Knicks? I'm happy. I feel like we're making the right moves. We're not trying to win now. We're trying to build for the future. If it's something this team hasn't done in a long time, I'm tired of going for free agents way past their prime. So, I mean, we have a good young group. KP, I'm hoping that, you know, he'll either not be so forceful in terms of uh, his return from injury. I want him to take his time, come back 100%, and try to figure out how his game will evolve now that he's trying to, you know, recover. You know, is he going to be that big driver? Is he going to be a bit more of a uh, jump shooter? What's, his, what's KP 2.0 going to look like after the injury? You said something in there that we can kind of relate to Melee and video games. Okay. Free agents pass their prime. I feel like so many of uh, some of the older Smash players are, well, we, I mean, we just saw like the new Red Bull uh, Panda Global ranking yesterday, right? And it is, I wouldn't say I was surprised based off results, but I mean, there are a lot of people that are up there like Zane and others that, you know, weren't uh, a year ago. It's, it, it seems like Melee is kind of having a second breath of, of people that are getting a lot better that have kind of been around, but have not been up in the top 10. They are getting better. Some of the older guys are not taking it as seriously for some. Some are just not playing much at all. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about kind of the state of Super Smash Brothers Melee at the moment? Melee right now is at an interesting point. I mean, there's going to be those gods still. And I'm actually very happy that we are seeing this resurgence and this rise of a new group of players are challenging these gods regularly. I feel like over the past five, six years especially, there's been so much focus on Armada, Leffen, PPMD, Mango, Meet to King Hungry Box. And for good reason, these are the guys who are at the pinnacle. These are the guys who are just winning basically everything. But now you have players like Pluck, like Zane. Uh, there are players on the come up who have been there for years and now are making their statements that, yeah, you know, I'm consistently a top eight threat. And I think it's interesting because a lot of those players aren't ones we would have thought would be in those spots. So someone like Zane over someone like, for example, West Falls or Shroom, people who we've seen for years performing well, and now it's just like they've been surpassed maybe. I don't yeah. know. I'm not sure if they're not as hungry anymore or what it is, but they're being challenged, and I like seeing that new generation challenging them. I wrote this Hungry Box feature uh, over the last month, and we put it out earlier this week, and there was a comment that really kind of made me think. Somebody was like, we're past the era of the gods. That's a bad storyline. Get rid of it. And, you know, you were someone that when that kind of formed, you and I have talked about this in the past, that the, the God storyline kind of formed around these players being so consistent and so good. Do you think we're past it now? Do you think that this is different? Um, I wouldn't say that. I'd say that the gods are always, or until the day that all of them aren't playing, they're going to be relevant. They're going to be discussed because they are still winning. They are still that good. Um, but beyond that, I think that the storyline about them is expanding. It's who's going to challenge them now. You know, when Leffen made his come up, everyone was like, oh my God, Leffen, he's a real deal now. There are a lot more people now who are saying and proving to fans that they are the real deal as well. And I think it's a exciting time to be a Melee fan. Even if you're not a fan of those gods, you have to look at these new players and say, hey, these guys are good. They are capable of winning majors. They are capable of winning top eight. Maybe we should look at them and into them a bit more. What do you think about how that changes something like Evo that's been so prestigious and it's been like, you know, mano a mano, the top guys every single year. How do you think it changes the way that this tournament could play out over the weekend? Oh, definitely. I think that, you know, the these new players have one big advantage at Evo, and that's the two out of three format. Um, I'm personally a fan of the two out of three format just because players have to adapt so much quicker now. Um, you, There is no, okay, I'm down 2-0, i make this three-game comeback. And there have been so many historic sets where a player like Armada, like Hungrybox, has been down 2-0, and they run back three straight. That option is gone now until you're basically on that last stage in the money. So if you're a top player, you have to be a little bit worried. What if I don't get off to that hot start? What if the marathon setting of EVO doesn't play out the way I wanted to? When every other event throughout the year, as soon as we get into brackets, three out of five, and you're taken out of your comfort zone, you're taken out of that... Uh, you're taken out of that realm where you're capable of knowing that you can make this, you can make those extra errors and adapt uh, in more games. That's gone now, so you have to either go in from the beginning or just fight in from losers. And I think that's something that I want to see. I want to see these players continue to bleed and another generation continue to challenge them. You know, we see, we've seen a lot of vitriol between Evo and the Melee community. Um, 
lot of people saying they wouldn't come, and obviously they did. I think when people threaten that, it's going to be yes anyway. Like, I don't think they truly mean that. But we've also seen other tournaments like CEO and Shine and SmashCon kind of like come up and be very relevant and very important to these players. Do you think there's a day where Melee is still alive, but Evo with, or Melee and Evo is not? Oh, definitely. I think, uh, you know, the, the name of the tournament series is Evolution. Uh, Smash has had a historic presence here at Evolution, period. Uh, Melee, you know, this is 11 years after the first appearance. And lo and behold, we're still here, we're still kicking. Um, I do think that in time, Evo will look beyond Melee. Um, and I think it's, it's, it's something that is well-deserved by other communities. Uh, Smash has held two spots for so many years now. And, you know, you look at other games and their storylines that are forming. The same way that people used to track uh, Armada and Mewtwo King, players are now, and something that you know is near and dear to my heart, you have a player like Leffen, who's bringing his Melee fan base into Dragon Ball Fighters. You have players like Sonic Fox and Goichi who are bringing their, uh, their fan bases as well. All these uh, communities clashing in that one game. I think that's a big thing. Um, but I think at some point, Melee and Evo are going to part ways. And I think it's going to be a sad day for the Melee community whether or not they realize it, just because of the amount of exposure that Evolution has given, the amount of history that has been formed in Vegas for Melee from this series alone. Um, but it's a necessity for other scenes to flourish, and because of just how Smash is, so many players are happy with going to events that are Smash-centric, that are Smash-focused. So, you know, as a player, if you're looking for that extra experience, if you want to play, you know, 24 hours and then, you know, not have to worry about it. It's, there are other tournaments that are better than that. But for me personally, there aren't many tournaments where, you know, I can walk the halls and I see someone like Galileo and then run into Leffen and then run into Plup and then run into Punisher and Angelic and Punk, Justin Wong, Daigo, Tokido, all in the same roof with players who have been venerated in Smash, like Zero, like Mango, so on and so forth. So there aren't many events where those communities collide, and when I feel like our players are venerated the same way as players who have been around, like Alex Valle. So I feel like Evo is important to the Smash community for that reason, but it, I don't see Melee continuing on much longer here at this event. Do you think that the immaturity of, oh, we're going to leave it because we're mad at format, or oh, we're going to leave it because we're mad at scheduling, do you think? that immaturity goes away and eventually people will go, yeah, that was a really great time? Um, I think it's the old case of you don't know what you have until it's gone. Um, I think in time people will realize that, yeah, Evo may not be for those players, you know, their pinnacle. It may not be what they want out of a tournament experience, but it's a very, very vastly different tournament experience I don't think many other tournaments can offer. Uh, CEO, Combo Breaker, events like that definitely do offer it. But there's something very, very different, and there's something with the amount of history that evolution has. Well, thank you. We good?